Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Matt here, back for another Faff Around Friday, and the game I'm looking at today is Bloodlust Shadowhunter by WRF Studios. I was contacted by Bill Fisher, the, the designer and programmer, and he asked me to have a look at it. It's a vampire themed RPG, and I suggest because I love RPGs and I also used to play a lot of Vampire the Masquerade, the tabletop RPG, back in the youth. While I was checking out the website for the game, the first thing I noticed is that it reminded me a lot of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption, developed by Nihilistic Software and published by Activision back in 2000. Being a fan of the tabletop game of course, I couldn't wait for it and to cut a long story short, I was tremendously disappointed. It had some interesting features like a multiplayer mode where one of you could play as the storyteller or dungeon master and sort of like pop monsters down and speak through them to your fellow players but essentially it was really just a Diablo style hack and slash in 3D with the flimsiest trappings of the actual setting. I had to wait until 2004's Bloodlines for a game that actually lived up to the tabletop role playing game, then wait years for fans to fix all the bugs. Now Bloodlust doesn't have any of the baggage Redemption did so I can judge it on its own merits. And sometimes you just want to hack things to bits. Some nights you want to watch The Addiction, other nights you might want to watch Underworld. So let's go straight into making a character. Here's our oh, demonic vampire Prince of the Night. Complete with flashlight and a knife. Now one thing I learned from playing Vampire the Masquerade is that sometimes politics isn't enough and you just need to stick a knife in someone's back. Before we do anything, we have to choose a name. Now obviously, we need to choose a regal name that's befitting a vampiric predatory prince of the Dave. That's a good name. A sturdy name. Okay, Dave the Vampire. Or, or a Dampit. Oh, look at that. It's glowing red eyes. But he's half human. Dampit are half human but not as strong and don't need to drink as much blood. And with some resistance. Yep. Ah, oh, but they get really cool glowing red eyes. That, my suggestion would be to swap the eyes round. Give the vampires the glowing red eyes. And make the, give the dampiers crappy normal eyes that aren't as cool. Oh, that should be my gender. I could be, be a lady vampire. Yes, I think I should be a lady vampire. Or Davina. Actually, this lady does look a bit like Davina McCall. Presenter of Big Brother in the UK, if you goth her up a bit. And her trench coat clipped through her leg. This is a beta. So such things are to be expected. Turny turny with the mouse. Let's see, I'm going to choose her class. Warrior, witch, was obviously a mage type. Oh, she has a very snazzy red coat. Or a criminal who gets a crossbow. And, oh, well, apparently being able to use a bow is a vampiric power. Not something like some invisibility power. Oh, so they can also use stealth. Do they actually get a stealth power? I'm just going to stick with the warrior for now. Black coat, black hair, red lips. Lots of strength and vitality. Because that's all you need as a warrior. Hit points to tank stuff with, strength to do damage with. So let's go! Remember to use various skills along with your main weapon. Good thing I'm a quick reader, folks. And here we are. Oh. Why? Why, Bill? Why did you have to put spiders in your game? This man is poking around in a stone box. That could be taken out of context in so many ways. Oh! It's a raven! Or a crow. Never can quite tell the difference. Although I do know the difference between a gathering of ravens and a gathering of crows. A gathering of crows is of course called a murder, but a gathering of ravens is called an unkindness. It's in an unkindness of ravens. The statue is built in smoke, he's hit a button, and he's burnt to death. Second death. Dropping a purple gem. Meanwhile, the, the crow raven, the craven, or the roe, flies through the tomb, past the knife and something. It's definitely a knife. Pretty big knife. A, a knife and a, and a black tube. This is a beta of course. I'm not too judgmental. The game is made in the Unreal Engine 
Although thankfully there's none of the awful glistening wet walls that I tend to associate with Unreal Engine games now. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. The children of the night. It's probably very weak since it's been many layers of deep slumber from the embrace. But with each new bloodline, you will grow stronger. There's me in the stone box. the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. Hey. Must be. Varric to watch over you through these long years. Seek him out should you need any guidance from the ruins. One thing I've noticed so far is that it's very dark. Anyhow, lady talking through the bird. Oh, blood is me tricky. Yes, tutorial, so I'm not a complete noob. Oh, I've got a flashlight. Trolling the. Trolling it via the WASD keys. So far, so wow. I have a flashing eye. Oh, ah! Ah! Sensory overload! Which mouse mode? No one smashed is all the time, but you must use hotkeys to open menus and new skills. Mode 2. Mode mouse cursor, able to click. Oh, I can press the Z key to toggle. Oh. Okay, so which one have I. Let's even get a good look at myself. God, I look terrible. I have been asleep for a while. Yeah, down here, I've got some skills. Bite, drink to heal, iron aura, and a vampire gaze. Remote eye triggers levers. Very handy. Combination of like far seeing and telekinesis. Oh, hello. Hello, I can't see your face. The lighting needs a bit of work. I mean, it's one. It's all very well good being a dark, spooky vampire game, but I would like to be able to actually see stuff relatively clearly. Welcome, Fletchley. How was your sleep? Hello, Mr. Scarecrow Man. Mr. Scarecrow Silhouette Man. Who are you? My name is Vera. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. And you apparently have your mouth sewn shut, so how are you talking to me? I can see you are a little confused now. Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. Well, what is normal anymore? You are no longer mortal, I'm afraid. Your blood has been tainted with the bite from a night feeder. Night feeder! Are you saying I am a vampire? It's alright. We're cool. We can use a V word. I mean, your name begins with a V. Not exactly yet. Only a fledgling, but on your way. You will need to feed and grow your bloodline if you are to survive here in the ruins. Get to the point, old man. I like that that's an option. Find the statue of the ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. Sarah. She is the only traitor here. Yeah. Okay. Sarah. Sarah. Okay, show me on the map. Ooh. An ancient statue. That's a shadow spawn, whatever that is. And that's a zombie. I know what one of those are. And we buy a pond. It's a very small little dungeon, but it is only a demo. Ooh, can over oh, that's quite cool. Very handy as well. Let's not do that, because we want to see as much action as we can. See, that lightning illuminates everything just nicely, but... Like iron aura. Yeah, we've got a point to spend, so let's spend it on. Unless is there anything else we can... No, spirit summon. Ah, oh, since I'm of the Van Grez bloodline, I'll be able to access these eventually. I'm going to summon a familiar. Ah, oh, and frenzy. That's the kind of stuff I like in RPGs where you play a vampire. Add point. It's available, current. Oh, oh god, all these... Oh, bums. All these skills. What should try out other skills and put more points in the bite? Well, I did. I put it into Iron Aura. Okay, let's get back to exploring. With my flashlight. Oh, hello. Ow! Did that just explode on me? Can bite inside... Oh! Try biting the bum. Come back when he's waiting. to issue orders. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Rise, my dark child of the night. <laughs> Van bum. <laughs> and so forth. Walter added to Sire Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's nice that actually letting me sire vampires as well. Oh, God, what tree? 
they say? Was it the skills tree? Oh, wow. Bum, Walter. That's me, Davina. Tree shows who you have sired. Bitten and turned into a vampire. Vampires are now part of your family. Ah, oh, I've got a family. Some victims make better members than others. Walter, you probably will not be around to see the end of eternity. Yeah, what's down here? Well, there's a massive door. Hang on, that was... Okay, that's to exit. Let's talk to this ancient... Where is this ancient statue? Hello? Wait. Oh! Okay, slightly bigger area. I want to go back first and... Explore the courtyard. Ah, not shift to run. Pretty nimble. Break the bars. Ah! Oh! Ah! Spiders in bars! Ow! Ow! Jesus fucking Christ! That's horrible! Ugh. Spiders in a vase! God damn it! Oh, what's over here? Where the bloody hell have I gone? Oh, I'm there. Have a secret passage? That's Walter. I will give him commands telepathically. Oh, optional air. No, I don't think I'm. Don't think I'm quite so ready to go. Hello. Right, kick, click to control bum. May I serve you, sire? Walter, you've gone all creepy. Game of the year, right here, folks. Order my bum to find loot for me. Take protect. Look for new blood. Stop. Wait for orders. Find loot. That is pretty cool, actually. More RPGs need a system where I can get some scrub to go and find my loot for me. Ooh, uh, oh, I did some jump thing. Hello? Ah, I can jump! That's pretty cool. Whee! Right. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Here's a door. No lockpicks. Now, this statue here looks Mayan or Aztec or something. Mesoamerican. That's the proper word for it. Oh god, it's a dog. Hello? It's a wolf. Kill it, kill it, die! Click, 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 it be dead. Now, is there any loot? Any loot? No. None that I can see unless I am completely blind. Oh, hello. Can I bite you? No, but I can talk to him. Machia. Hey, look. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. That was what the nap. buggery hell is it to no, you? not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took typo. a peek inside your coffin. I'm, I'm sorry, but typos. I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. Mm -hmm. Didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch them, though, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. Why are you looking for blood fragments, whatever oh, they are? Man. I see you another typo. That's not how you spell must-have. That's a particular pet peeve of mine, by the way. Just it's must-have or must-apostrophe-the, huh? huh? not <laughs> must-of. Still, it is a beta. Been, uh, not everyone is a spelling god like me. Why are you just standing here, you lazy bum? I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore up my leg pretty bad. Man. Once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape oh, did those you? creatures. Huh? Which reminds me, if you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? Yeah, all right then. But you got wine, you got booze, uh, sure. oh, blood Take wine. It. It's probably attracting those wolves closer to me anyway. Yeah. Also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. She set up a temporary trade shop to provide supplies. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'll see if I can find her. Right. Secret door here, but you need the secret sight skill to see and open it. Oh, help him, and he'll help me. Scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Vampire politics, ladies and gentlemen. Can't open that. Okay, let's consult the map. Ah, that's easy enough. Walter's off finding stuff for me, I presume. He sort of walked off the map there, but I'll just leave him to find loot for me. Is there some sort of monster on the map here? Go here. Hello. Ah! Ah, I can break the wall. Ah! Hello! Ow! 
Ow, go away, go away, activate special power. Now I'm glowing green. And he be dead. And I found this. Ah, this must be a blood fragment, obviously. And now the bird's talking to me. Can you hear me? Yes, but I don't want don't to. be allowed. Telepathy is another of the fledgling skills. Got a very creepy voice, and not in a good the way. Fragments are from the hardened hearts of fallen vampires. Well, that explains that. That's quite cool. You know, your hearts harden as a vampire. Which usually happens in the fiction, albeit metaphorically. You know, throughout the ages, ennui and cynicism and despair just gradually drive you insane, in a way. And then you become a monster. The beast you are, less the beast you become, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm hopelessly lost. Okay, go over here. Here's a statue. Oh, open the barrel. Oh, that's handy. A key in a barrel. Yeah, look, this is blatantly sort of pseudo Mayan Aztec kind of thing. So, why is there a town nearby? Unless I'm in South America. Which I suppose, you know, if you're going to be buried someplace as an undying vampire for however many years, South America's a pretty good choice, all things considered. You could do a lot worse. You've got all those pyramids in the jungle, just find one of them, bed down for a few centuries and you're sorted. There you go, right, there's a monster there. Zombie, okay. Can I run, can I run, can I run? No. That door is tricky and won't stay open. But there is a way. Shoot vampire's gaze oh, into the doorway of course. and then step off the plate right before you trigger the lever. Mm -hmm. Right click to press E to take all nearby loot. I have no idea what I picked up just then. Blood wine. Can I put that on my hot bar? No. I can just top myself up whenever I need to. Hey, I have a belt. Why am I not wearing a belt? That's better. A bit more defense. Okay, let's go and do this now. Stand on a pressure plate. Launch the magic eye. Out of the way. Ow! How dare you! Block my magic eye, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's try that again. Whoop, almost hit the wall. Oh, God, there's another one. Quick, hit the lever. That should keep the door open. So now I can kill this fool. See, even zombies have cooler eyes than I do. See, I can't even get a good look at myself. I'm just a silhouette of them. Ah, wait, if I go over here. Aha! Can I? No. Hold on. I always obsess over this in RPG. Ah, here we go. Here's Davina in all her vampiric glory. Once I get rid of the tutorial sign. There she is. Oh, she's even painted her nails. How Trey Gothique. Sound trap. Probably fail. Because I'm a fighter, not a... Oh, wow. Mesh plate armor. Place a knife in the chest. Okay. Oh, I'll have to disarm myself first. There. Oh, you don't, don't drag it, you just just click. Ah, secret door! I hope there's a weapon behind here, or I am screwed. Is that Sinistar I hear in the background? I am Sinistar, I hunger. Ow! I've given up my awesome knife for a crossbow. Although I do have some cool antique jewellery. Right, blocks must add up to seven. We've got a puzzle. The, aha! Oh, this could be easy. One, one. One. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Yep, those have got two on. Now, does this have three? Yes, three, four, five. Six, seven. Booyah! I don't have a weapon for the moment. Hopefully there'll be one in here. Ha! And another trap. Oh, I've gone up a level. Awesome. Chest explodes. Oh, iron plate armor. More jewelry. And a key. 
no awesome weapon, and I can't even use the crossbow, I don't think. Oh, that's a bugger. I wonder if I can pick up my knife again on the way out. Oh, I'm a bit thirsty. Level two. My defense, my attack. I've lost a bit of health all of a sudden, so I've got five stat points. So let's spend them on abilities I know nothing about. Okay, hit and strength and vitality. There we go. I like to give fighters a bit of dexterity. Well, that was rubbish. Well, as in I've got a rubbish weapon that I can't use. I'm going to take my very dull knife back. And keep your stinking crossbow. Look at the sky. The sky is very dark. Oh, I sense a zombie. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hold on a moment, Mr. Zombie, while I re-equip this dagger. That's better. Is he saying come closer? Or was that some... Hey, ow! Ow, I've been stunned. Bye! Oh, a talent point. I'm just raking in the levels now. Oh, yeah, five stat points. Okay. 20. Yeah, I am stacked to the nines with vitality and all that stuff. See, what other powers can I get? Current iron aura. That's my current ones. Okay, iron aura, bite. Oh. Pretty much limited to those three. Well, it is a demo. Enough life force. Add point to iron aura skill. Oh, okay. I don't have enough life force. What determines my life force? Uh, I presume it would be intelligence? Oh, what's life force? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Tooltip would be quite handy here. Oh, well, enough faffing around with stats. Mosey on. Wait, I was trying to find a, a water layer, wasn't I? Yeah, I went completely the wrong way. The walls are up here. Oh, there's a vase. And this one isn't full of spiders. I probably should put on some armour. Yep, I more than meet the requirements for that. So I'm wearing a big heavy breastplate under my snazzy coat. Oh, oh secret area, but I don't have vamp... Oh. Shoot the orb. Oh, oh, a puzzle. Okay, where's the... Ah, uh, where, where's the lever? Where's the lever? I can't see anything. Head trigger secret. Right, so where did that... Ah. Camera control back again. What secret did I... I clicked the brake wall. I've already been in here. Oh no, there's a button. Oh, this place is just riddled with secret passages and... Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh god! He's got 40 hit points. Go away! Activate Iron Aura Power. Circle Strafe. Pro MLG skills right here. Go Doom or go home. Yeah. Ow. Well, he didn't really do all that much damage. I probably didn't need to faff around quite so much, but... Never mind. I've got a fragment. And there's a lever. Something is triggered. Oh, no! 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 Bollocks. Oh! Oh, God! Now I'm trapped in here with a dark zombie. Go away! Oh, just, oh now he stunned me. Bollocks. Iron aura. Ah, you're dead. Again. Let's open this passage again. And hopefully there won't be another one. Now, he said, oh, jump to ledge. Oh, not quite. Let's try that again. Aha! That's quite cool. Proper sort of ninja vampire powers. What's in this box? Which is also trapped. It's like every box I've found so now. Ah, oh, bag of jewels. Job done. Back to... Machia or Machia. Quite sure how you pronounce that. Is. Did I search this box? No, I didn't. An emerald gem. Ah, oh, look at this. I'm racking up all the loot. Soon I will be the richest vampire in Christendom. Oh, that was a zombie. 
I didn't notice him because I didn't see his glowing eyes. Oh, and he dropped something. Didn't see what it was. Wants to drop something. Yeah, enemies are respawning. Let's go find Mac Mac McCarthy. That's where I came from. Where are you, mackerel? I appear to be tired. Can't run anymore. Salt the map. There's a zombie. Ah, no, I am in the right place. So right here. All right, Mr. Bleedy Legs. Have you found my bag yet? Thanks. Since you helped me out, I guess I could teach you something. Ah, sight. finally. It's a skill that helped me find a few fragments, and it might help you find whatever you're looking for too. You want me to teach it to you? Sure. I'm not going to pass there up a go. free power. Give that a try. In fact, I think there's a secret wall over there behind me. You think? You had you're the one with the power. You mm, should know. Behind me, between those two columns. I swear his voice sounds really familiar. Swap head. Ah. That's quite cool. Oh, and now I can actually see. Albeit through a green haze, but. Through the wall to trigger the. Oh, oh, right. There's a lever up there, so. Uh, 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 uh. Did that work? How come you found goes wrong? Orb with the mouse. Try and fly up through the wall to trigger the lever. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh! Oh, right. See, I was trying to go way, way, way up. I did it. Nope. Now I'm just jumping randomly all over the Where? I don't want to talk to him. I want to... Ah! Ow! 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 That's a bastard trap. How dare you. No, that's just going to close the bloody door. I am the worst Tomb Raider ever. Sometimes I activate traps to do extensive damage. Ah, I've just noticed my hit points. Jesus. Right, this satisfies my implacable thirst. Will it also heal my... Uh, how do I actually... How do I actually... Or do I just heal naturally? Nope, that didn't actually do anything. Sort of wrists. So it's 3% battery power. Dear. Um, is there anywhere? Oh, I can turn the torch off. Let's use our new funky vampire vision power. Right, well, I think I've done all I can. Oh, a bag. Hello. Ow. No, no, now I'm stuck in a pond. Now I'm not stuck in a pond, thankfully. Seems to be jumping at random sometimes. It's a bit unsettling and annoying. Gold. Always handy. Gold. Let's try the battery again. I think my hit points are really going up naturally. Oh, oh accidentally pressed. Ah, slightly smaller fonts. Or slightly bigger fonts. Okay, Walter. What are you doing, Walter? Yeah, yeah, bum. Oh, more exploding baskets. Right, let's see if we can go down and find Sarah. Oh, no, that's going. Oh, hello. Ah, is that you, Walter? No, that's Jester. Who are you? Hey, where did you come from? Did Sarah send you to check on me? Who is Sarah? She's a trader for some of the excavators. She sent me to find some wolf fur about three hours ago, but I got sidetracked looking for a secret near here. But I guess my secret sight skill is rusty since I can't seem to make it work. I probably should go talk with Makia. Oh, it's Makia. He's pretty good at that skill. Yes, I'm He's another Machia. excavator, probably looking for blood fragments and whatever else he can scrape up. The last time I saw him, he was in the courtyard area. I was just about to head over there to find some wolf fur for Sarah, but I think I'm going yeah, to spend a few more minutes. I'm not going to try and persuade him because I'll probably fail and then he'll attack me. But I hey, can pretty good with that skill. Show him this open secret door thing. Show him how useless he is. See, I found this and I've just learnt this skill. You have probably created it. Oh my! <gasps> a hat. Can I? 
Oh, check me out. Height of vampire fashion. See, you didn't get this hat. You're rubbish. Now, where is Sarah? Oh, who the... Ah. Go away. He gets glowy red eyes. Why don't I? Ow, 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 ow. Can I bite him? Oh, I can't bite him because he's undead. I'll just tank the living shit out of you. Yeah. God, I love being fighters. Oh, no! Except when there's bloody spiders. Are they all dead? Oh, no. Right. Oh. God damn it. Why are you hiding spiders in vases for, you sadist? Where is Sarah? Let's check the map. Oh. A head? Oh. It is literally a head. What level is he? Level 5. Ah! Uh, oh god, he's got 450 hit points. Um, I'm not going to survive this. Ah. Oh my god, vampire golems? What? Go away! Oh, I can talk with the head. Hello? What do you need? Oh, thank god. How do I get out of here? Oh, uh, yeah, follow me. Oh, thank you. Right, oh. Oh wow, it's a... oh, that's no. stone. oh for Christ. That is awesome. I, I've made a new friend. He turned the vampire gorilla into a statue. Can I just... Kick ass. Obviously this is still in a rough and ready state, but I'm enjoying it. I mean what other games have vampire gorillas? Ask yourself that. Oh, this is a blatant trap. Let's see if we can at least find Sarah before I can... Where is... Oh, talk with the ancient statues. Ancient statues up there. You distracted me, head. That's a very... That's a very big hair you have. And also cool glowing eyes, which I don't have yet. I feel very disappointed about that. I hope as you level up, you get cool glowing eyes. I have a key. Can I break up a wall? Hey, what? Up, uh, too many things. Oh, wall is drop. Ah, I've not played many RPGs that let you smash walls this often. It's pleasantly in parallel. Fledgling finds themselves in exile again. I see. If you are to escape the ruins, a bloodstone is necessary to unlock the door. Okay, where do I find a bloodstone? Don't be foolish. It must be made. Go quickly and find the missing ingredients, and then mix them in a zen Sounds easy enough. To make the stone. All right, find ingredients, make a stone, leave the dungeons with my cool new friend here. You can just turn vampire monkeys to stone. Sorry, I meant vampire apes. Right, now be where the ingredients are. Okay, got a lost bloodstone. A snake eye? And an elixir with a ruby to produce a bloodstone. Okay. Can we break this? Yes. Are there any snakes in here? No, but I can shoot vampire's gaze through this hole. And there's the leaf. What have I have over this? There's a snake. Well, it's a statue. Jump! Yeah! I evade your pitiful traps. Oh, I can drink. Maximum life force. Awesome. Jump again. Right, can I get a better look at myself? Yeah, look. I'm like a. I'm like a. I'm like the goth Carmen San Diego. That's what I am. I want to know this head's backstory, I really do. I mean, he just came floating up to me, he scared the hell out of me, and then. Oh, you can talk to me, by the way. This is exit corner. Merchant. Oh, that's where the merchant is. But let's go find Sarah. And then we maybe call it a day. Is this Sarah? Hello! You must be the new fledgling, huh? Brock mentioned you. But don't get any ideas about trading here. 
Oh. This is not some local grocery store, you know. This trade shop is set up strictly for excavators. The ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. However, I am in need of some wolf fur. I probably shouldn't, but if you can find some fur, I might make an exception for you. You lot picked first. I can't choose anything else, so. Oh, persuasion failed. But I did level up again. So I think that is probably a good place to leave it for now. Let's see, final thoughts. It's it's got promise. I give it that. The controls are very smooth. Combat, especially the animations, could do with a bit more work. And obviously, the interface could do polishing up a bit, but for a, for a beta, it's pretty fun. I quite enjoyed it. It's got a hell of a lot more depth than Vampire the Masquerade Redemption ever had, which is a plus point. I also very much like that I was able to pick up a hat and it showed up on my character. I always appreciate little things like that, even if I do look a bit like a crazy hobo with a knife, which I suppose is only fitting really. So there you have it folks. Bloodlust Vampire Shadow Hunter, the demo slash beta of which is available free to download from the developer's website. I've put a link in the description below for you. So all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, like, dislike, death threat, ancient vampiric blood curse, whatever you like. And I'll see you all next week.